Welcome back to our YouTube channel, guys. My name is Ardil, and we are back with a sound off episode on a brand new 2021 model Jaguar F Type. So, this car came into us with the Meridian sound system. So, this is the upgraded system from factory, but in today's video, we're showcasing exactly what you get from the Meridian sound system over the new Audison Hertz setup that we've got going into the car and actually comparing all of the components that you get from factory over to what we're putting in side by side so you guys can see exactly what you're spending the money on when you tick that factory option. Let's get into it. But before we get on to today's video, make sure you guys at home have subscribed to our YouTube channel because we've got a massive competition live on our channel at the moment. We're giving away a brand new PlayStation 5 as well as an Audison Prima amplifier. All the details are in the description below. However, let's get on with today's video. So we've got a full array of products, the Meridian sound system over what we're putting into the vehicle. First off, let's buy, actually start by weighing the product. So this is the Meridian tweeter weighing in at 52 grams. And then we've got the Audison Thief this tweeter which is weighing in at 366 grams so what is the actual difference between these two components firstly the size of the actual product this basically sits on top of the door card in a little pod however this obviously you can tell physically just by the size of this thing it's never going to sit into the same location as this but what we're actually doing is replicating kind of a factory design which is going to be really nice in the install which will allow this to actually sit into a new pod that will sit a little bit further out than the factory one but still look really really nice and there's actually a whole series designated to this car in terms of the install to show you guys a little bit more about that but in terms of a side-by-side -side comparison, one thing that I do want to showcase on this is obviously this is a plastic framework around as well as a ferrite magnet, which is quite an old school traditional style of magnet over the neodymium magnet that's in the actual orders and thesis tweeter. When we're looking at aftermarket products and replacing it with the factory components, it's very, very important that we look at the design and how the system's actually built and put together. The orders and thesis tweeter is literally inch perfect in terms of sound output quality from those higher frequencies and this is a very very directional sound so your tweeters deal with all those higher frequencies that are very very susceptible to actually being placed in the vehicle because sonically if you have these off axis or on axis sonically it does make a big big difference so what we're actually managing to do with the new pods for the thesis tweeter is not only obviously the investment into the kit itself we need to maximize the use out of that and that's why they're going on a new custom pod but obviously you can tell by the difference just physically in terms of size this is a massive massive difference and obviously that weight comparison there is a good indication of actually a product's quality but that's not always the case which you'll showcase a little bit later on time to talk about some adding some punch of sound into the vehicle and that's mid bass as well as bass so from stock on the meridian system we've got this door speaker here weighing in at 855 grams over to the audison thesis sacks that we're putting into the door weighing in at 1433 grams so a big difference in weight there but what is the reason behind that and what are these components here in terms of the component itself in terms of the thesis sacks as you guys know and would have seen in previous videos we use this component a lot and that is due to the quality of the actual component and the amount of mid bass performance you can actually get from this as well in terms of the added bits that we've got onto this that you might not have seen unless you watch behind the sound but we've got the actual speaker itself connections grade wiring which is all oxygen free as well as xt60 connectors which we'll move on to shortly we've also got a 3d printed adapter that houses it into the exact stock location which i'll show you as well as well as the skins water guard so that not only protects the speaker but also the waves coming out of the actual component itself will then directly go into the vehicle a lot smoother but obviously on the factory system there's a couple of things i want to showcase so what you've got here is obviously connectors manufacturers on you would have seen if you've ever stripped down a car that connectors are used a hell of a lot the reason for that is is because it's easy to understand for anyone working on the car later on so they've got that on that so we've also got our own version however our system is designed so it can't go the wrong way and it's very easy to identify there is a connector that can be disconnected but what you've actually got in here in terms of the component design is this is designed as basically mid base as well as a sub so on the meridian system that on you on the jaguar type 2021 model like we've got in currently on the convertible there is no designated sub in the vehicle we have the whole interior out at the moment and these are the components that from the car in terms of this component this is basically performing like a sub as much as it can do but 
as you can see right here, we've actually got a sub and you can see the difference just in the size of these two components. That is a designated sub. This is not. So it's never going to be able to perform those lower range frequencies like the Hertz Miller Legend 8 sub does. But as well as mid bass performance, the Thesis speaker is going to well way outweigh this component here itself. But the reason why that is, is because you actually got here plastic framework in terms of the structure. This is a full metal chassis in terms of the thesis range. Reason why that makes a difference is because as you go down in the frequency range, basically you've got, for instance, the sub here. This sub, obviously we'll weigh it in a minute, but this has a full metal structure as well. As sound waves basically move backwards and forwards, however solid the actual bolting position onto the vehicle is, as well as the actual chassis of the component, makes a world of difference in terms of frequency response and hitting those lower frequencies to provide a lot more bass. This is never gonna be able to do that. It's very, very flimsy. You've obviously got the plastic design in terms of the housing, but also the components. I mean, this is literally the whole frame work of the component is made out of plastic. Obviously, we're using a plastic 3D printed housing to go into a stock location, but the way we print these is very, very solid. And also what this actually allows us to do is go into a stock location. So what you'll see, this is a six and a half inch woofer, and this is then obviously the seven or eight inch woofer, I believe, and that will basically sit into the stock location in terms of the fixing points, which means that the system is fully reversible. So when the customer wants to sell their car, they can remove it all and put the Meridian system back in for the next owner. So in terms of the actual components there, the world of difference in terms of the actual framework itself is where the difference comes, as well as now talking about proper base in the vehicle. Now, moving on to those rear speakers. So what we've got from factory is this contraption here. This weighs in uh, 862 grams, and this weighs in, so this is a Hertz Miller Legend sub. This weighs in at 6,249 grams. So a big, big difference there. We're worried about the scales there for a minute, but what, is the issue with this component and this contraption here. Uh, there's a lot to talk about on this, so I won't go on for too long about it, but basically this is a component that is mounted behind the seat, kind of working alongside the door speaker from the Meridian system, trying to add as much bass into the vehicle as possible. So we've got kind of a mid-range that sits kind of behind your head, as well as then obviously this larger woofer down here. Just look at the magnet, guys. This is a Meridian component. The magnet is obviously a ferrite magnet, so it's also very dense, but, and very heavy in itself. But in terms of output, what you're getting is very, very poor. But the big issue with this system, is how it actually mounts to the vehicle. Like I said earlier about the mid base in the door, it is about how good the structure is behind the scenes in terms of the component, as well as how it bolts down to the vehicle, to how much base transfer you're getting into the vehicle. Firstly, again, we've got plastic framework here. We've got paper cone, cheap design, and we've also got very, very thin cables going to all of these components as well. I mean, you just look at, look at this, it's extremely thin in comparison to our, even our tweeter wires. The tweeter wires that come off the thesis range are still far, far, pretty much double the size of the actual one that we've got going to the designated sub in the vehicle. So a big difference there, but obviously the structure and how this is bolted to the vehicle is never gonna be able to give a massive, massive base output. What we're putting in its place, so these sit behind each seat. These are the Hertz Mille Legend range. I mean, just look at the magnet on here absolute monster. So these are an eight inch woofer. We also do them in a 10, but to fit them into this car, we do have to use an eight inch driver. Reason is because of space. We're going into a relatively stock location behind the seats to add these in, and these are really gonna push really hard. The amplification rack that we've got going in, which we're not talking about in today's video, so that is well worth the watching part behind the sound, but this is really, really gonna kick so hard, and it's gonna give a massive, massive difference in bass output. But again, metal Structure. You can see the weight comparison between these two and it is absolutely massive. If you want to see the technical specs of all of the Meridian system, you can't because it's not listed. If you go on the Meridian website right now, guys, it, none of these specs of these products are on here. It just says component, tweeter, whatever it is, very, very broad. If you want to know solely about the Alderson Thesis tweeter, 
I honestly, try it. Go on the Audison EU website or for car audio. Go look up the product itself or come by or email us. We'll send over all the product specs because you have every single little bit of information, not only in terms of the product spec, in terms of frequency responses, outputs, also what this product is going to be achieved for you, as well as kind of the design process of it and why and the reasons for building a product like this. And that is across all of the products that we've got here. We've got a lot more information out in the World Wide Web to basically give you guys, and the reason is, is because it's manufactured for car audio. It's manufactured to be designed to produce massive, massive difference in quality and sound reproduction in a vehicle. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed Sound Off today. You've seen what the Meridian system offers over obviously what we're putting in, but what is well worth the watch and well worth subscribing for because we have more content coming on the Jaguar F-Type. There's a full behind the sound series where we go through literally as the car came in with the Meridian system all the way through to ripping out all of the interior, replacing all of the components in the vehicle, upgrading the sound and a load of fabrication on this install too. So that is all in behind the sound well worth a watch episode one is already live hit the link down in the description below but thank you very much for watching please don't forget if you've enjoyed today's video smash that like button share the video with friends and family as well as hit that subscribe button it really really helps us and it means that you won't miss any more of our future content that is coming your way thank you so much for watching we'll see you all soon